Yo, what's up, everybody? Yo, I was just thinking, you know, the reason everybody got a podcast about dating is because men, black men and black women really don't know what it takes to meet somebody and spend the rest of your life with them. We don't, to be honest, we don't. Like I keep telling you, my boxing trainer said he met his wife and he been with her from the first day he met her. He said the first day he met her, he knew he was going to be with her for the rest of her for the rest of his life. And they've been together 57 years now. But it's not like that now. It's not like that because one, social engineering and TV. And most guys, especially if you grew up in the projects, grew up without a father in the house. You might have grew up with an older brother or an uncle or something. But a lot of times, the father couldn't be in the house. That's how that movie Claudine was. Claudine was, the, you know, she had a man, but the man, but he had to go hide when the welfare, when the welfare system came by to check. Like I, like I be saying, in America, everybody comes to America to get some form of welfare. Everybody, I don't care who it is. If not, they wouldn't come to America. But they make it seem like black women are welfare queens. And black people are only ones to get welfare. But everybody comes to America to get some form of welfare. If not, they will stay in their country. But the thing, and even then, they get welfare, their family stays together. They get welfare, and the man gets to stay in the house. You see immigrants come to America now. The man and the woman come. It don't just be women coming to America. It be women and men. And the family gets to stay together. When farmers get welfare, the, the man didn't have to kick his wife out the, out the house. She gets to stay in the house with the husband. Only when black people got welfare, the family gets broken up and the man can't stay in the house. Like I said, in that movie Claudine, every time welfare came by, James Earl Jones had to go hide. He had to go hide. You got to hide your clothes. You got to hide your furniture. You got to hide. If you bought something new and you're making money on the side, you got to hide that. Like I was saying, when you grow up in a province, a lot of times you grow up without a father. You may grow up with an older brother or an uncle or something, but he got to hide when welfare come. That's by design. That's by design that the black man grows up without a, without a father. And they know that, they know, they talk about all this, all this gay and bi and transgender stuff. That happens when a boy grows up in the house and he has no male role models around. He grew, children, children grab a, children act like they mimic, we mimic what we see. You know, and if a boy grows up in a house with no man in the house, he's going to act like his mother. He sees his mother sitting on the toilet to take a pee, he going to sit on the toilet to take a pee. He sees his mother switching around the house. He gonna switch. Boy, he's gonna be confused. He's gonna be confused because he's got men. He's he sees how a man acts and he sees how a woman acts. And like I said, by the time a child, when a, a five year old child don't know what they are, they just act by what they see. And that was by design for black men to grow up in the house with no man in the house. And your mother said, if somebody touch you and they're bigger than you, you pick up something and you knock the shit out of them. So that's why people pick up weapons. They pick up shit and knock somebody out. Somebody bother them, they pick up something and knock them out. That's what a mother teach you. But back to what I'm saying, that's by design. All that shit is by design. So you grow up without a man in the house. You grow up without a man in the house and everybody's talking about dating now. Dating is bullshit. Like I just said, my boxing trainer, he met his wife and he'd been with her the first day he met her. Dating is a waste of time. Dating, you go from one, you go from one girl to another girl to another girl, and the girl go from one guy to another guy to another guy, and they be talking about she got, uh, what they be saying, she got high mileage on her on her coochie, and she got miles, and she been passed around and all that. Nobody teaches, nobody teaches black women, about, nobody teaches black people how to meet somebody that you want to spend the rest of your life with, and then you know comedians. White comedians be making jokes about no black men, and no black father, and stuff like that. That's by design. Everything bad that happens to black people is by design. That's all social engineering. But now we got this. We got these podcasts about dating and all that. And like, like I always say, I done said it a thousand times. My man told me he said, if you want a girl that you want to be with for the rest of your life. Look for the bad. Look for the bad shit about her. Look for the things you don't like about her. 
and ask yourself, can you tolerate the bad stuff? Because if you can tolerate the bad stuff, then the good stuff is going to come to the surface. But if you don't know that, you always think no matter how good your girl is, you're going to find somebody better than her. And it's not going to happen because everybody got something that we like about a person and something we don't like about them. You might get you the prettiest girl in the world, but she's annoying, she's sloppy, she don't pick up after herself, you know, she lies. Or you might meet a girl that, you know, it's going to be something about that girl that you don't like. But you can't change whatever it is that you don't like about her. There's going to be something for the girls. There's going to be something about that guy that you don't like. But you can't change it. That's why you got to accept people the way they are. They're not going to change. Grown people don't change. Grown people don't change when you're trying to change grown people. I had to learn that myself. But back to what I was saying is that's why we, that's why you got all these podcasts and stuff now. People are trying to talk. People, TV makes you think you're going to find somebody perfect. Nobody's perfect. We all got flaws. We all got something that you don't like about us. Everybody. Everybody has something that you don't like about that person. Me, I hate liars. I hate liars. I hate liars and I hate sneaky. I hate sneaky women. I hate that shit. But it is what it is. You gotta take the good with the bad. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let me go. I just thought I mentioned. That's why you got all these podcasts about dating and stuff. Because most black men don't know. We know how to date. You know, how, you know how to rap the girls and all that. But we don't know how to look for a wife. And most black women don't know how to look for a husband. Everything bad that happens to black people in America is by design. It's called social engineering. I don't care what nobody say. That's why you that's why that's why the hood is like the hood. That shit is all by design. Like I say, when when when, when a black woman get welfare, they tell you they tell her she can't have a man in the house. White white women get welfare, they keep their husband. Their family don't get broken up like black people get broken up. Everybody comes to America for some form of welfare. And they use those, like I said, they use those jaded and ambiguous terms. People of color, colored people, brown people, melanated people, African American. That could be anybody. That could be any. Elon Musk is African American. Charlie Steron is African American. African American. There's always going to be something that's going, that's going to handicap black people. Always. Because in America, you need somebody to pick on. You need somebody to, no matter how bad you're doing, you need somebody to say, I'm doing better than you. That's what you need in this country. That's why it's like that. No matter how, I just thought I'd bring that up. All right, y'all. Take it easy. Like always, check out my poetry book. Don't beat your children or they'll turn out like me. And my other poetry book, Call the Store in the Middle of the Block. Remember that. Remember that, fellas. You're not gonna find a perfect girl. There's nobody. There's nobody that's. Gonna, there's no female that's gonna do 100 percent of everything you want. You gotta look for the good and look for the bad. Look for the. And look for the shit you don't like and ask yourself, can you live with it? Because whatever it is you don't like about it, you can't change it. Grown people don't change. That's why we're making them songs. Don't make me over and all that. All I need is